Hey guys, hello, hello, good evening for those of you in the UK and good afternoon for everyone over in the States. How is it all going? Great to see lots of you guys in the chat. Goldie's here, Clearwater Chad's here, hello, hello. Um, just reading up on these chats here. Goldie chatted with Claire earlier, they're all having a grand time, that's great to hear. Very jealous considering it's very cold here in the UK right now and they're on a lovely warm cruise in the Caribbean so I hope they're having a lovely time. Um, so in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about Greenfields which is the UK Scientology school um, that doesn't get too much attention. I know there's a lot of talk up at the moment over over in the states about Delphi which is the big Scientology school over there. There's a couple of different campuses they have um, but it's often forgotten that there is one very similar in the UK called Greenfields. Um, now I had a bit of a run-in, well not a run-in but almost ended up going to Greenfields because when I was in Scientology I was just finishing up my schooling. Um, in the UK, school finishes when you're, or it did when I was a teenager, finishes when you're 16. And then you have an optional two years called sixth form to do before you then go to university at the age of 18. So I'd finished school at 16 and was um, hoping to go to sixth form. And I wanted to go to Greenfields um, because it was a Scientology school. And um you know, that was how what I was thinking at the time. But unfortunately, I didn't go because A, it was very expensive. And B, uh, my family aren't Scientologists. So they're not exactly going to pay for me to go to a Scientology school. So completely understandable. And probably a good thing I didn't go because Greenfields is known as a SEAL recruitment spot. A lot of um, students who finish school at 16 at Greenfields end up um, going and joining the Sea Org rather than going on to university or um, finding jobs. Um, so I thought I'd just talk you through a little bit about Greenfields to start, to start off. So this is Greenfields. This is the website of the school. Um, independent day and boarding school for boys and girls aged 3 to 18 in Forest Road, Sussex, um, which is just down the road from East Grinstead, which is where St. Hill is um, based, which is the headquarters of Scientology here in the UK. Um, this is the school. It's a lovely building. Um, I believe they have capacity for 150 students or thereabouts or about 100, between 100 and 150. Um, so it's a boarding school. People can go there just during the day, but most people stay overnight um, and board there. Here are some alumni on their website. Amima, she actually used to be a staff member of the Church of Scientology in London. I used to work with her. She is now apparently a Hollywood makeup artist. Um, I don't know how true that is because last time I checked, she was selling jewelry on Facebook rather than makeup in Hollywood. She was in LA, but she is definitely not a Hollywood makeup artist. She was an auditor at London Org, and then now she's selling jewelry. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, that is that she's an alumni of the school. A lot of the staff that um, worked at London Org did go to this school. Um, it is a, a very popular place for Scientologists to go. So that is Greenfields. Um, it is an independent school, so it is not subject to the regulations and inspections um, that most state-run schools are subject to here in the UK. In the UK, there's a um, regulatory board called Ofsted, and they are the ones that go and inspect schools and mark them based on how good they, how well they're performing and whether they're doing what they need to do to educate students. Um, but independent schools do not. They have a different regulatory body. There's a couple of different ones that look after independent schools. Um, one is the independent school inspectorate and I thought it would be quite interesting in this video to look at the most recent report um, that the independent schools inspectorate did after an inspection of Greenfields which was in 2017. So let's just have a little look at this. This is the ISI um, educational quality inspection of greenfields. Um, before we delve into this I do want to talk a little bit about study technology. Now Elron Hubbard developed lots of things during his time, one of which was study tech. Now, we hear a lot about these things called MUs, misunderstood words, and in Scientology is a very specific way you go about studying Scientology and um, you apply what's called study tech. 
in principle, the idea is that you never go past a word you don't fully understand. If you um, read a word you don't understand, you are going to have symptoms such as yawning or falling asleep or fidgeting or losing interest. And if you're reading something and you're losing interest or you're not, you know, grasping it or you're not quite understanding it, the reason generally is be in Scientology's um, understanding is because you've gone past a word you don't understand. So a lot of Scientology training um, is all about making sure you understand every single word that you read in a document. That's study technology. And it goes down to the very basics. Like I remember spending hours upon hours in um, a Scientology classroom in, in the org, in a course room, um, clearing the word and or the word the, right? It's called clearing the word when you, you're looking at the definition. Um, because there are like 50 or 20 or something definitions of the word the, right? Who's ever actually got a dictionary out and looked at what the word the means? You don't really need to because you understand it conceptually. Um, but in Scientology, if you are not fully, if you can't give a supervisor the definition of that word in a spot check there and then, you get flunked and you have to go back and clear the word. You have to read and understand and remember every single definition of the word the or an or and or as all these little three, two, three letter words. Um, that's called word clearing. And that is a principle of study technology. So Greenfields applies this study technology to, um, to how they teach their students. Um, another important part of study technology is to, um, to fully understand a word. You need to not just read something, um, but you need to know how to apply it in your life. Um, so if you're learning about a camera for example um Aaron Hubbard teaches the best way to learn about a camera isn't just to read about one but is to use one so go and grab a camera and play around with it and press the buttons read about what it does and how it works and then use it because so then you get a physical understanding on it it all makes kind of logical sense on the surface um, then you get into things like clay demos. So if you if you're learning about a concept or a principle or something that you know isn't a physical object, um, you can use clay like Play-Doh to make a model um, to kind of demonstrate that you understand the concept. So if you're trying to figure out the the meaning of the word communication, you might, for example, make a clay demo of two people standing there talking to each other. And you can use like paper clips and stuff, whatever you've got to hand um, to represent different things. So you could get a paper clip and you could show the paper clip going from one person to the other person's mouth like this and going, see, I understand the concept of communication because the paper clip is is the communication and it's going from one person to the other person and back again. So you're kind of demonstrating a conversation. This is study tech, right? This is how you would use study tech to show a course supervisor that you understand a concept, a principle, the meaning of a word um, by demonstrating it in clay, by using props to um, kind of show that you understand something, by drawing things. You can draw a diagram and show that you understand it. The whole idea is you're not just reading something and remembering the words on the page. You're actually trying to learn the concept behind something and can apply it in everyday life. It actually makes kind of sense. This is one of the things I do kind of still hold on to from Scientology that I don't necessarily disagree with because as a principle, I do kind of get that and I do agree with that. I think if you're learning something, it's good to understand something in its entirety and know how to apply it and actually what it means rather than just learning something verbatim, right? I think there is some truth and some merit in it. Um, I think Scientology takes it maybe a step too far in that you don't need to necessarily learn the definition of every definition of the word the. I think that's a bit excessive. Um, it also implements study technology in such a way that can be quite suppressive and coercive because if you so much as fidget or yawn or anything like this, a course supervisor will come up to you and going, what what word did you not understand? Did you go past a word you don't fully understand? Tell me what it is. And it's done in a way that makes you then, it programs you to think, oh, I better not yawn. I better do nothing but just sit here and read this book. And if I fidget or move or anything, they're going to come and, you know, they're going to come and tell me off. So I'm going to, I need to sit here and just read and not fidget or move. And that in itself is quite a coercive control technique. So I, I don't fully agree with the way that it is delivered in Scientology. But 
as a principle, I understand it and fully agree. Anyway, that was a whole tangent. But just to give you an idea of the sort of thing that they will be using at this school, Greenfields, is this study technology thing. So if we have a little look here at the most recent report, this is the Independent Schools Inspectorate most recent report on Greenfields. Um, so the last one was in January 2017. I do believe that means that there is another one due fairly soon. It's a very lengthy report. I will put the link to this in the description once the live stream is over if you want to read it in its entirety, but it is 13 pages of pure waffle, so I wouldn't recommend it if you don't really want to, but, you know, if you want to, you can. Um, I've highlighted the key bits here. So, key findings. Pupils' ability to write at length and in different styles is below the expected level in the junior school. The number of GCSE passes, so just for clarity here, um, a GCSE is the um, certificate you get, kind of like a GED in America. The GCSE is the General Certificate of Secondary Education. That's the um, certificate that you get at the end of school when you're 16, when you leave, and you take a GCSE exam in each subject that you're studying and you get a certificate in each one. So where it says here, um, the number of GCSE passes per pupil at grade C or above is below the average for maintained schools. Now, I'd like to take this moment to remind everyone that Elron Hubbard says that study technology is the only way to fully and successfully understand something and how to really how the, the best way to educate someone is through study technology. So here is a school applying nothing but study technology. It's run by Scientologists. It's using Scientology principles. And yet the results that it's getting are below average. Fascinating. The school has introduced a new marking policy and new systems for assessing pupils' progress, but the implementation is not being monitored rigorously enough to identify where and how pupils' progress and the quality of teaching might be improved. So in the report before this one, which I also read, and it's much more interesting, but it's not the most recent one, so I thought it was a fairer place to start at the most recent one. The one before... Um, recommends a lot of things are changed, a lot of things are done, um, and some of them are, are here in this report, they've been done. So one of them is like, you know, you need to implement a marking uh, procedure or policy. And you can tell here that Greenfields have said, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Um, but it's not monitored. They've just kind of said they'll do it just to get the mark, like passed on this inspectorate report. They're not actually implementing it. Pupils acquire positive attitudes to learning and are keen to contribute, but do not have a wide range of opportunities to extend their extracurricular achievements. So people like Claire Headley, speak to her. She went to Greenfields. A lot of um, Scientologists who um, hail from the UK would have been at Greenfields and they have their own experiences. And although I didn't go there, I do get the consensus among former Scientologists that went to Greenfields that your time at Greenfields is spent working in the classroom and learning but also cleaning and spending most of your free time cleaning and uh, child labor type activities and um, so it's hardly surprising here that the isi have said that pupils do feel positive towards their learning and want to contribute but they don't really have much to do um, other than learning in the classroom if we scroll down again here an analysis of the school's results for the years 2014 to 2016 indicates that GCSE performance was broadly average in terms of the grades achieved, but that the number of passes achieved by each pupil at grade C and above was below the average for maintained schools. Again, this is a report from the independent schools, um, you know, what are they called, inspectorate, um, saying that this school applying Elron Hubbard study technology is producing below standard results, subpar results. And yet Scientology is say, saying that study tech is the only way to succeed in life and learning. The number of examinations taken over the last three years is too low to make meaningful comparisons with the national average of maintained schools. So for those people who are age 16 to 18 doing their A-levels, 
which is the two year optional um, study program you do before going to university. Um, the report here is saying that not enough people did enough exams for the ISI to actually compare this data with other schools, um, which just goes to show that reports that people who go to Greenfields are recruited straight into the C organization must be true. Because when you finish school at 16, the majority of pupils are then recruited to either join staff or go join the sea org. The majority of staff at London Org um, were second or third gen Scientologists who all went to Greenfields and then recruited onto staff and worked for the church in London. I saw the evidence of it. It's totally true. Pupils' ability to write at length, creatively, and in a different range of styles is below the expected level. It emphasises the technical aspects of writing, such as grammar and punctuation, but does not allow enough time for pupils to work on their extended writing skills. This is so true, and this is exactly what study technology does on the negative side of things. Study technology, when applied, makes you really understand the concept of commas and explanation marks and um, colons, semicolons and grammar and the meaning of words. And you get a really good understanding of the English language, um, but you're not given time to actually practice it and use it and, and do, you know, write short stories and all this sort of stuff that you need to do to enhance your education of, of the English language. So it's saying here, they people the students understand the technical aspects of writing, which is very true, such as grammar and punctuation, but it doesn't allow enough time to work on their extended writing skills. So what we have here is a school of pupils trained by Scientologists in Scientology techniques, um, and yet they are lacking skills on how to actually use the English language beyond just understanding the, the concepts. Pupils' written work shows a limited range of achievement in technological, human and social sciences. I'm just going to let that sentence do all the work for me. I don't think I need to add to it. It's very clear what that says. Since the previous inspection, the school has adopted a nationally recognised scheme to assess pupils' longer term progress from years 3 to 11. Although some assessment points have been missed, the results of these assessments show varying rates of progress in different year groups and different subjects. However, the information from these assessments has not been analysed methodically to pinpoint where teaching or pupils' progress has not been good enough. In the junior school, for example, much of the pupils' work is left unmarked. This is a school, right, where you're meant to be learning things, and part of learning things is to, to answer questions, do exams, have your work marked, and that allows you to understand whether you've done a good job, you've understood it correctly or not. In Scientology, this isn't the, really the way that you do learning. You have check sheets and you have a list of tasks to do. You, when you read a book in Scientology, you answer questions on it. You do get a mark and you get it sent back to you, but it's not graded in a, did you get the question right or wrong? It's graded in a, have you shown you understood this part of the book or this thing that you're reading about or learning about? Yes or no. So what they're saying here is that the ISI have... Um, have suggested something be implemented, you know, like a normal marking scheme where pe pupils are tested on the things that they're learning about and then get marked on it. And the ISI have suggested that and Greenfield has said, yeah, cool, we're going to do that, no problem. And then they just leave the students' lessons just on there on the side and, and never, mark, never mark their work. I think that's outrageous. But there it is, clear as day. Study technology does not work. And Greenfields is a school that they will tell you their pride and joy is that they are applying your on Hubbard study technology as it was meant to be applied. And here is the evidence in the um, Independent Schools Inspectorate report that they are performing subpar. You would be better going off to a state school than going to this private school, which charges, by the way, £15,000 a year to send your child to. You're going to spend £15,000 a year to send your child to this school that applies L. Ron Hubbard Scientology techniques. And yet 
it is more likely they'll get a better result at the free school down the road that won't charge you anything and will stick to the uh, government applied uh, curriculum. Crazy. So just wanted to take this opportunity to let you guys know Greenfield does exist. It is a thing. It is not performing as well as you would expect for an independent school that charges £15,000 a year for its students to go to. And this is the UK equivalent of Delphi. A lot of pupils who go to Greenfield end up working for the SEA organisation at the age of 16, if not younger. The pupils who stay there have nothing to do extracurricular activity wise. It says so in the ISI report. Instead, they just spend their time cleaning and studying. And quite often, boarding pupils will finish their day at school and go to St. Hill just down the road to then study Scientology itself. Just wanted to raise awareness of this school here, guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I am going to answer some of your questions now. So put some questions in the comments. I will answer them. I'm going to scroll up and read them all now. Um, while I'm doing that, I just wanted to remind everyone, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. Um, there's a link in the description and on the um, page of my channel as well. Um, you can also do super chats, all that sort of stuff. Um, tomorrow, which is Thursday, there's a lot of stuff happening. I will be on Andrew Gold's channel. We did an interview a week or two ago, which is going live tomorrow at 7 p.m., I believe, on his channel. Um, and also at 7 p.m., there's a little bit of a clash. I'm going live with Catherine Olsen and Ian Rafalco. We're going to be speaking here on my channel all about superpower and the training that went on at Flag while we were all on staff at that big momentous time in Scientology history in 2014. So watch out for that tomorrow. It's going to be a whirlwind of content for you to absorb in the evening there. Uh, all right, let's have a look at these. Goldie, you should wear a seal uniform at the wedding. How hilarious. Yes, definitely. Seal uniforms are a thing. Pearl on the go. Agreed. Actually, knowing the info is much more helpful than par just parity. Exactly. So there is some merit in the uh application and learning of things like this and the way you learn principles and concepts but i think scientology just take it one step too further too far um in a way that's detrimental to your learning and understanding as evidenced by the report from the isi on greenfields clear to chad the school has a nice name it does have a nice name it's just a shame it's run by scientologists and uh it doesn't have very good results clear to brad alex how come you song you song called Doug out for his constant digs at Andrew. I have no idea what this is about. How come you song call? Do you mean don't call Doug out for his constant digs at Andrew? I don't know. I have no idea what that has reference to. I will, if you can provide some more info in the comments, I will look into it. But I haven't seen him giving constant digs at Andrew at all. Um, Sorry. Alex, your last upload, joining Scientology staff and how they gather dirt on you, SPTV Live. The guy pointing on the thumbnail, I used to follow, can't remember his name, he's still in. Yes, so the guy in the thumbnail, that is Charlie Wackley. He used to be my senior at London Org. He was um, probably my closest friend in Scientology. Um, he is still, he's currently the direct, the deputy executive director of London Day um, organization. Uh, so yeah, he was my senior. He was the PCS and then the PES for those of you who are familiar with Scientology titles, um, the public contact secretary and then the public executive secretary. Um, and now he's the DED, the deputy executive director um, of London Org. So yeah, he's he was my closest mate um, and I work with him every single day. And that's why I thought it'd be funny to add him to the um, thumbnail of my last video. Kitty Mom, hey, thank you for your super chat. Do any non-Scientologists actually send their kids to Greenfields? Well, yes. Um, there are no publicly available stats on how many kids at Greenfields are Scientology kids and who, how many are not. Um, but from speaking, even when I was in Scientology, speaking to people who had gone to Greenfields, I would ask, is it just full of Scientology kids? And they would always, everyone I spoke to would say, no, there are people who are not Scientologists that are just sent to the school. It's definitely a minority. It's not the majority of, of students. You've got to remember we're talking about 100 or so, 150 kids across 
um, you know, all of the years that you would be at school. So these are very small classes. They're not talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids. Um, but no, there definitely are kids who go to Greenfields that are not Scientology kids. Whether those parents know that it's a Scientology school or not, I do not know. I know there is a large number of um, foreign students that are sent to Greenfields, um, whether they are foreign Scientology families or whether they are um, families that just have no idea about his links to Scientology, I don't know. But Greenfield School website does make it very clear that they use applied scholastics and the way to happiness and L. Ron Hubbard's study technology. Um, on their website, it's very clear that they do that. It's on their Wikipedia page. Um, it doesn't, however, say the word Scientology as far as I can see. So anyone who doesn't know who L. Ron Hubbard is um, may not have any awareness that it's linked to Scientology. But it does make it clear that Elrond Hubbard's study tech is used at the school. I hope that answers your question. Colonel Brock, what the fuck are those things in your earlobes? My earrings, yes. So I stretched my ears. Uh, so I've got uh, 10 mil holes in my ears. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Yes. I like rock music. I'm an alternative person. I could take them out, but that doesn't look as good because then I've just got this random hole in my ear. So it looks better to have uh, have earrings in. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you're into rock music, man. Uh, Clearwater Brad. Sorry, Alex, I didn't mean the caps to seem aggressive. I really thought you knew about the Doug Andrew thing. He mentioned it with you the other day, I believe. He was also talking badly of John Atak. I have no idea what this is about. Um, I will have to speak to Doug and ask him and find out more about whatever this is you're talking about. Um, I know that Doug did appear on Andrew's channel, and I know that I've appeared on Andrew's channel, or will do tomorrow. Um, Andrew's a really cool guy. I get on with him very well. Um, I also get along really well with Doug. He's a really good mate of mine. I speak to him pretty much every day. And hopefully he'll be on my channel very soon. Um, we're just trying to figure something out first before that happens. Miss D, I'm so glad I went to Sackville Secondary School in East Grinstead and not Centre Greenfields. So Sackville is the, the other school in East Grinstead that a lot of um, Scientology kids went to. That is the free school um, that's run by the state rather than an independent school. Um, and people who worked at London Org that are from East Grinstead would have either gone to Sackville or they would have gone to uh greenfields and only the ones who had money from the rich scientology families would have gone to greenfields uh the rest of them would have gone to sackville sackville is not a scientology school so yes you are lucky miss day miss d that you went there and not to greenfields do you know about sean atwood and that stuff by any chance um i know that question was for clearwater brad but joker 71 i do know about sean atwood and he has approached me to interview me and would like me on his channel and we're just trying to organize a date and a time for that um so i'm sure it will happen at some point soon but keep your eyes peeled for that does greenfields as a scientology school have sign has charitable status that is a really good question and one I do not know the answer to. Uh, I'm going to find out now. I don't believe it would because it's a private school. So it's not one that's meant for Greenfield. Let me just search Greenfield School. Oh, no, I don't believe it has. Who, what, where? Oh, so the Greenfield's Educational Trust is a charity. Total income, £1.6 million. Pounds. So, yes, Greenfields does have a, a charity behind it, the Greenfields Educational Trust, which I'll need to look into more. But please understand that they are separate things. Greenfields is not a Scientology organization like Narconon or Applied Scholastics or um, The Truth About Drugs or Way to Happiness. All of these programs are direct Scientology programs. Greenfields is a private school that is a separate entity that uses Scientology principles and techniques to teach students and teach pupils. Um, so it's not a Scientology offshoot. It's not run by the Church of Scientology. It's run by Scientologists as a separate private entity. But yes, I just checked. They do have charity status, um, and that is because they are a legitimate school. Um. 
COS has zero special status in the UK. That is very true. They uh, do not have any special status here at all. Charlie Wackis had to delete his content. Um, I will look into that. I am still friends with Charlie uh, on Facebook, I believe, and many other uh, Scientologists are still connected to me. Uh, so I don't know what is publicly viewable or not. Uh, but having said that, I reckon it won't be long before Charlie deletes me. We'll see. See how long that takes. Um, talking of which, have a little update. I spoke to Katie Lohman earlier today, who was on Andrew Gold's cha uh, channel a couple of weeks ago, the current Scientologist. Um, and I can confirm she has still not heard anything from the Church of Scientology. We all thought she would be pulled into ethics um, straight away and told off. And there was lots of rumors about what would happen in the wake of her interview with Andrew Gold. Um, but it, it appears nothing has happened as of yet. And she has not been pulled into ethics and she's not heard from the church. So little update for you. Hopefully uh, I can get more info from you from her soon and can share more. Um, but I think our, our um, what's the word, expectation that the church would uh, come down hard on her and put her into ethics the next day um, was wrong because that hasn't happened. Um, that's that's not what we expected. So. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Just a short one today. Um, if you want to support the channel, hit the buy, go to the buymeacoffee.com slash apostate Alex. The link's in the description below. Um, if you don't want to support financially and just want to support through YouTube, just like, comment, share, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. That's the best way of helping. And I will hopefully see you guys soon on the next one. Thank you.